Is your model just too big to fit on your print table and you're just frustrated and really want to make this model, especially like a helmet or something size to fit? Well, join me today as we work with a product from Autodesk called Mesh Mixer to break that print up into pieces so you can print it. See you inside. Hello and welcome to today's video. Today, as I said, we are going to teach you how to break up a model into smaller pieces so that you can print it with your Ender 3 or smaller printer. The model that we're going to be using is the Mandalorian helmet. I've heard you guys in the comments and we're making this video today. So we're going to take the model and we're going to break it into smaller pieces that will fit on the Ender 3 or even smaller printer build plate. That way anybody can print this model. Now if you go out on Thingiverse, I think there are models that are already broken down other than the one that I used. But we're going to break down the one I use because it's a fantastic model. It's got clean lines. It looks really nice. So we're going to hop over to the computer. We're going to load up Mesh Mixer. I'm going to show you where you can go download it for yourself. Um, they do have Windows and Mac versions. So computer limitations, not really a thing. But there is a new version 3.5 out. I recommend getting that one. That is the one I'm going to be demoing for you today. So, but before we head over there, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you want to continue seeing content from this channel, join the crew, help me out. It really does help me out. Show me, shows me that you guys are seeing, digging the content that I'm creating. And also leave a comment down below if there's something that you want to see. I want to try to help you out and get you 3D printing as fast as you can and not have to deal with some of the problems of figuring this stuff all out like I had to. So with that said, let's hop over to the computer and let's get this thing broken up. All right, so we are at the computer, and as you guys can see, up on my screen is the Mesh Mixer website to download the software. The awesome thing about Mesh Mixer is it is free software. It is from Autodesk. It works really well. It lets you do a lot of advanced stuff that you can't do in a slicer. It has Mac, it has Windows, and you can currently on the screen it's showing you two different versions. I'm doing everything in Windows 3.5. Um, but this also gives you the compatibility to use either platform, which Kira works with either Windows or Mac. So um, you're not limited on what computer you can use here. So Mesh Mixer is a pretty awesome tool that I like to use. Um, you can install it in whatever directory you choose to install. I just did the next, 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 and install and installed it on the computer because um, I'm not really concerned about where I put it, but if you do, there is where you can change the directory and all that stuff. So, but this is the website up there in the upper left. You can see it, meshmixer.com, download.html, and you can download this file for free. So there is no account needed, no sign in, nothing. So I'm gonna pull a mesh mixer in. This is the actual program. So it looks a little daunting, doesn't it? <laughs> um, I am gonna show you just some basic how to cut a model. I'm not gonna go into a lot of other features or anything. We're just gonna make this model into multiple parts. That way you can actually print your model on an Ender 3 or even smaller printer. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the model in. So I'm gonna bring the full helmet. You can drag and drop or you can click import and go get it. <coughs> so we're gonna let it generate the mesh. Again, if you guys are enjoying this content, you know, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, join the team. And as you can see, it's brought it in down below. Now, one thing you will need to do is, let's, let me find it again. So I had to add a printer. Creality is not in the list. So you can go to printer preferences and you can go to add and add your printer's um, size of your print, your print plate. So for Creality, I added the 235 by 235 by 300, which is the standard size of that build plate, the 235 millimeter by 235 millimeter. Adding a simple, just go in here and manufacture, add your width, depth, and all of that, and you're good to go. Hit add. And then up in this upper corner, choose your printer, which I have Creality and I have my Ender 3. So I'm gonna back that up and then I'm gonna move this around. And as you guys can see, it's not sitting on the build plate right. So the first thing we need to do is go over here and go to edit and we need to go to align. That'll pop it up on the build plate, hit accept and boom, we're up on the build plate. So now we've got it up on the build plate. And as you can see, it don't fit, it's too big. So that's fine. So what we will do here is we will go to plain cut under edit, plain cut, and we will get that clicked. And as you can see, it adds this plane in. 
and we can move the plane around and do all kinds of fun stuff of where we want to cut it at. As you can see, it'll cut this at that plane. So, I've already kind of messed it up, but that's okay. But we can get it to make that cut. Now, there's ways to do this. You can, I'm going to slice and keep both. And I'm going to go ahead and just accept this. And it's made that. Now, the next thing you need to do is click separate shells. That's going to separate the shells here. Top, bottom, all, and all. And actually, I'm going to get rid of that one. So we've got these three. So we've cut it into those shells. Which is great. That's what we want. Now I'm going to come back again, and I'm going to do another plane cut. Maybe. Oh wait, I hit, no, I don't want to create a pivot, no. Edit, plane cut. And I'm going to cut this another way. So I'm going to cut this four times. And just kind of use your arrows to move. I kind of want to, <laughs> I need to straighten this out, and we'll straighten that out. Okay. And we're going to scoot that over, we're going to tilt that a little bit more, and I'm going to try to get a center fourth cut. And I'm going to keep both pieces. I'm going to accept. Then I'm going to go back over and I'm going to do separate shells. Which as you can see it did more here. <clears throat> so I've broken this now into four files. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that. I'm going to go to file. And I'm going to go to export. I'm going to export this as an STL file. Uh, I think this is the one I actually want. And helmet top. Uh, let's see, that's left. And save and continue. I don't really worry about manifolding. I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to grab this one. And I'm going to do the same thing. So you'll need to export your files. Helmet top right and that will create another file so now I'm going to grab this one down here and I'm going to do this again I'm going to do a plain cut right there oops and I made a mistake I forgot to go to slice keep both. So I'm going to accept. And it's kept both. And you can see the blue line in the backpack there now. And then we go ahead and hit separate shells. Now we've got even more files. So now we got the bottom pieces. So basically all you need to do is cut this up and export it to the sizes that you need to fit your printer. So this is helmet bottom right. And I'm going to grab the other one. I'm going to export it too. Helmet bottom left. And I may have this backwards. I'm just doing this so we can do smaller printers. So now we've got this broken up. So now I'm going to open helmet bottom left. Now, depending on the size of your printer, you may have to do this more to break this up to be able to fit on your printer. This is just an example of how you do it. it once you export it and you load it into Cure again, which is about to come up in front of us. Okay, so it took it off to the side. And we'll get it onto the build plate here. Now this may not fit. 
again, you may just need to keep cutting it up until you get a piece that fits. Uh, let's see here. Move you onto the plate. Yeah, you're probably this piece is just probably just too big. So I'm going to clear my build plate. And I'm going to go get the top. So that piece should almost fit. Boy, I didn't cut this very well. But you guys get the point. You can cut this up into multiple pieces using this method. So, and you, as you can see, they're cut, they're thin line, and they're cut to meet their other half. So you see the one cut, and then you see the other cut coming in here. This is how you break down your model into the pieces that you need to, to print. So hopefully you guys have found some. Uh, really good information here. If you guys want more videos on Mesh Mixer, like how to do pegging and different things like that, you know, leave me a comment down below that you want more. Um, this is just a simple video of how to cut it up to get it down to your build plate size to make it even easier for you to print. So, you know, let's kick back over here. So we got this piece. We know it's too big. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to cut it again. So edit plain cut. I'm going to tilt that up right there. I'm going to accept it. Then I'm going to do separate shells. Oh, the oops. You don't have to do that when you, yeah, I messed up. Undo back. Undo back. Keep both. That was my mistake. And then you do separate shells. And then it'll make these parts. So I'm going to take this piece. I'm going to export it. I'm going to export it as that STL file, helmet smaller. And we're going to hop back over to Kira. We're going to delete that from the bill plate. And I'm going to grab helmet smaller. And boom, there's that section. Now it's showing that it's not manifolded. Don't really worry about that. Um, it'll, it usually prints just fine. But if it does become a problem over in Mesh Mixer, Keep a hold of that, go to edit, and, or no, go to analysis, and inspector, and auto repair all. So this will check for all the problems the model has, and it will do some repairing. Now this may take a minute to go through and do, but this is just one more function that you can do, especially if it just doesn't look like the model's gonna work right. You can go through and fix these pieces. So we'll grab this one, do the same thing, analysis, inspector. Yes, I know I'm inspecting for defects. Uh, auto repair all. And it's going to go through and look at those defects and stuff and fix it and then export it again if it, you think it's just having too many problems. But this is just one way to get the model cut down to a printable size. Now what you can do is, you know, do your usual stuff here in Cura, let's lay it flat, and no, 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 lay flat, okay, we're just not going to listen, so I'm going to do this, then I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do this, and get that as close down to the build plate as I can, then hopefully go back here to lay flat, it's getting the point of what I want. Then we'll zero it down and boom, you're ready to print. So let's slice the model. That seems way off. So it is kind of having some problems. So Let's resave it after I've run the inspector. File, export. And you guys are just going to have to play with this. Some models work well, some don't. So let's hop over to Kira. I've got a re the repaired one that I've run the repair. We'll run it off this Kira where I was just playing. And let's see if it has a manifolding issue. And see, this time it came through fine. So the repair worked. 
So there you guys go. There's how you can break up the Mandalorian helmet, get it down to your printer size, and get this thing printed. Same with any of the armor pieces, any of it. This is a real simple way to remake your files. It does look like a lot of work, but believe me, if you were to pull the chest, the helmet's kind of difficult because it's a dome. The chest plate, you could probably come in here, one cut, cut it in half, and boom, you're done. Um, it just depends on your printer size, to be honest with you. And that's kind of one of the things that makes this limitation of what we're trying to do. So if you guys want to know more about Mesh, mix, mesh Mixer, like I said, if you want to learn more things like how to put uh, peg pivots in and different things like that to help put your models together and different things like that, let me know down in the comments. If you want to learn more about what Mesh Mixer can do for you, definitely let me know. And I will be glad to make a video. But this has been a common requested topic <clears throat> um, ever since I released the first video on the Mandalorian armor is, can I print it on this? Can How do I make it to where I can print it on this and not have to shrink it? Well, here's how you do it. Here's how you cut it up into pieces so that you can do it. Um, I've had a lot of people ask for this, so here's that video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get to the final set, the recap, and thank you guys. We'll see you over there. All right, so that's breaking it down into smaller pieces. So there is a whole bunch of other stuff that you can do with Mesh Mixer, including fixing errors in the files and different things like that. If you guys want me to go deeper in the Mesh Mixer, leave that comment down below. Let me know you want to see more from Mesh Mixer and more of the abilities of the software. This is just one feature that you can do within the program that I find to be a very useful and handy tool to get my jobs done. So again, if you guys enjoyed what you saw today, hit that subscribe button, join the crew. I really do appreciate it. I want to see you here. I want you to join the community and help others out as we all continue to grow and learn about 3D printing. Also, hit leave those comments down below. Let me know what you want to know, what you need to see, or just ask questions. Even if it's not about Mesh Mixer, I will gladly talk with you. I want to build that community. If you're curious about my day-to-day -day operations and different things as I go through projects, follow me over on Instagram. The link's down below as well. Um, and join the Phoenix Rising community over on Facebook as we try to build that so that we can get more conversations and stuff going on. So thank you guys. I appreciate it. Happy printing. We'll see you in the next episode.